Hi everybody, it's me again. <laughs> How are you? I hope you guys are doing well. I am coming to you right now to, to talk to you about and to share with you and share with you something that happened to me last Friday. I started my journey three years ago in August. And I was 382 pounds at my heaviest weight and, you know, close to 400. And I had been through so much in my lifetime, in my early 30s and oh, all the way through my 30s. And one, it seemed to be one tragedy, one life-changing event after another. And so I turned to food and food became my best friend. Food became um, all consuming in my mind. When I, want, when I was sad, I would eat. When I was happy, <laughs> I would eat. When all these life-changing events were happening and tragedies happened, when my mom suddenly passed away, what did I do? I ate. It, it comforted me. It, it filled the hole. Um, when I came back from California with my mom's ashes and I sat them at the dining room table and I thought, okay, now what do I do? I've lost my best friend. I've had five miscarriages. I have no money. Um, I came from an, an enormous amount of money and it's all gone. There was a lot of family betrayal. And I'm sitting there looking at my, the box that my mother's remains were in. And at I remember the only thing I thought of at that time to make me feel better was food. So I ate, I ate chips and I ate whatever, whatever processed food, whatever, whatever I could get my hands on to, to fill that void. And then, and it, you know, I was, it was, I was 32 and then it just, it just kept creeping up. The weight just kept creeping up, but I was in such a state of depression. And anyway, I, uh, you know, went to counseling and I came out of that and realized that I want to uh, live a life of health and happiness. And my best friend, my mom, who died suddenly, um, would not want me to be living in this dark hole and would not want this for me. I was taking care of my elderly grandmother. I was taking care of a mentally ill younger sister. Uh, I had two children. My husband traveled. And so I had a lot, a lot, and I still do have a lot on my shoulders, a lot on my plate. Went to counseling and realized that I was a severe emotional eater. I was never diagnosed as bi a binge eater, but I would, I would eat, uh, I would eat thousands and thousands of calories. It just seemed like just to, 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 to stuff that, to, to fill that that loneliness that I was feeling. So I, I, I talked it all out and worked through a lot and got tools to help me live a better life, a life full of health, a life full of happiness. Well, okay, that's all great. But that's not, you know, really, guys, I mean, I'm not living in la-la land here. We have problems. We all have struggles. So, you know, I, I have been doing very well on my journey my working out is going uh, fantastic. I've had a little setback with my knee, but I mean, I'm getting crazy strong. I'm crazy strong, you know, been crazy strong physically and then emotionally, I, I've i really come through so much. During the middle of my journey, my I, I lost my precious grandmother who was 98 years old. I took care of her and watched her die. And at that moment when she died and I was waiting for the undertaker to come get her body, and my trainer knew all this and my, my friend who's a counselor and everyone, I did have a lot of support and I really think that is something that's really key is to have a lot of support. That's what is so great about this community as well. And I, 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 the, my first thought was, oh, I think I need to go to McDonald's. And then it's like, no, wait a minute, I can't go to McDonald's. I, and I just, I work through a lot of this stuff in my head. It's just, it's like, you know, Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Buried my grandmother, sent her body back to California. There's that void again. You know, I took care of her for 14 years. 
she was an incredible, incredibly strong woman. So I worked through that and I didn't eat and I continued to lose. I worked out hard. I chewed a lot of gum. I drank a lot of water. I, I talked. I'm a talker, you guys. Those of you that are really close to me know that if there's an issue or whatever the case may be, whether I'm happy or sad, I like to talk. <laughs> and and talk about my feelings and work stuff out and, and whatnot. So I did. I worked through it all. Well, I've been doing so great since, you know, two years. I haven't had any issues really with, with you know, some sometimes I feel like I want to eat, you know, something bad. But for the most part, I, I eat amazingly clean and amazingly well. Last week I had a rough week. I had a lot of stuff building up on me, a lot of stuff. And I'm a business owner. I run a ranch. I, I, a lot of financial problems. The, our sh the sheet market tanked. So we have a lot of financial uh, stuff coming in on us. And Steve decided I'm going to work a month straight. They opened up overtime at the coal mines. So he's gone. And tr making money. And so I'm here, I've got two teenage daughters, and so, and it's just friends, and, and there's just so much stuff going on, and last Friday, I felt so overwhelmed, and I felt so alone, and I felt, I just had all these feelings, and I wanted to go to McDonald's, like really bad, like I work out at four o'clock, at Barefoot, on, on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and that's my kettlebell training. And, you know, going into workout is, <laughs> I'm telling you, I need to take you guys with me when I'm driving into workout because once you get into this town, I go to work out in another town. You, the first thing you see, you got a car dealership on the left and on the right hand side, you see Burger King, then McDonald's, then you see Taco Bell and then Safeway's over there. And then there's a, a China Garden, a Chinese restaurant. Then you go and I have to drive into this town more and you've got Domino's Pizza, Caesar's Pizza. Uh, there's a little Mexican restaurant. There's uh, Papa Murphy's Pizza, Arby's. This is all on the way to my gym. Then when you turn in to Barefoot Fitness, right when you turn into the parking lot, literally, I will, I will have the video of this. It's in her parking lot in the beginning is a Taco John's. So you have to pass Taco John's, and she has a, it's like a warehouse. Uh, her gym's like a big warehouse in the back. So it's like everywhere you go. And for the, you know, if you're a fast food junkie like I am, you know, it's like, you know, it's crazy. And so I, you know, been doing this though for years, going back to this, you know, to the gym and, and you know, I do fine. Friday I had in my head, I was so upset and I was so depressed and I felt so alone. I, I didn't reach out to anybody. I had it planned in my head that I was going to McDonald's. And let me tell you, I love my, me and McDonald's. I mean, that was my, that was my drug of choice. Literally, I call it a drug because it was like, I ate that all the time. Like, I have to drive 20 minutes one way to get to McDonald's because we don't have McDonald's in our little town. And I would do it. And I would throw down Big Macs, chicken nuggets, whatever it is, diet soda, regular soda. Um, I would, I would eat. And so I had it in my head. I was going to, um, go to McDonald's. So this is my confession. I was going to go to McDonald's and I was not going to go to workout. And so I was going to stop in at McDonald's and I was going to get a Big Mac, a quarter pound of cheese and a couple of cheeseburgers and some McNuggets with um, spicy mustard and a water. This is now, okay. For those of you that are thinking, all right, you know, I'm a planner. So I, <laughs> I literally plan this. I, I'm a, I'm a planner. So I had it all planned out that this is where I was going and this is what I was going to do and I was not going to go to work out at 4 o'clock. So people like my my kids and, you know, Steve called me, where are you going? I'm going to work out. So there goes that, you know, I wasn't going to be telling my family the truth and I knew it. I mean, I was thinking all this out. If Steve called and he was on night shift because he goes to work at 7 and he said, hey, what are you doing? We're, oh, I'm heading to work out because I had it all planned in my head what I was going to say. I was going to go to McDonald's and then I was going to go to this park, which is beautiful. It's right by the, the, the this uh, creek and I was going to sit in my car and I was going to eat. And then I had an hour and then I would come home. Well, a couple things stopped me from doing this. Um... I was driving over there and this is what I was going to do. I did text one person 
and I don't think I don't think she believed me that I was going to be doing this but that's because it just and really it's out of character for me now three years into my journey when I haven't done this I didn't and it was hard for me to even reach out I, I maybe said it nonchalantly maybe not in a serious you know way but I guess that was just my way of just putting it out there to somebody and then I was thinking I'm on the way there I have a new car well, it's 2012. I bought it brand new off the showroom floor, and it smells new. You get in it, and it's like the intoxicating smell of a new car. I love it. And I thought, I'm driving over, and I had it all planned in my head what I was going to do. And this is what I was doing. And I was thinking, okay, I'm going to eat this food in my car. I don't let anybody eat fast food in my car because I don't want to get in it and smell it like the next day because it lingers in your car. Oh boy, I don't know if this is going to work. Well, I can't get out and sit in the park. You know, number one, what if somebody sees me? Number two, you know, I, and I run a business and people know my, I mean, I'm supposed to be at workout. <laughs> you know, what? I'm thinking all this stuff in my head. So, anyway, by the time I got to, to McDonald's, I turn, I, it's on a main highway and I, I was driving in and there's Burger King and then the next turn is turn into McDonald's. And I turned down that road. And I kept going. And I said, what are you doing? Do you really want to do this? You know, and you, you know when you drive through fast food or buy, you know, you just smells. And I'm like, oh. Okay, no, I, I need to go to work out. I need to go to work out. And something inside of me just said, keep going, keep going. I drove past McDonald's, went around the block, came out on the main road, and head to work out. All the way there, I mean, I, I was crying. By the time I got to, I was crying. And I, I, I made the right choice. And um, I'm still struggling. But I haven't. I, I'm eating clean. Clean, I'm eating well. I am working out. I am working through this loneliness, this um, overwhelming feeling that I have that, man, <laughs> life is hard. Uh... I prayed on the way, uh, and I, you know, I, I mean, I believe in the power of prayer. I pray all the time. I pray all the time. <laughs> I, 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 I wonder what sometimes, you know, you wonder what God's thinking, shaking his head, going, <laughs> girl. <laughs> Last night, something happened, and I felt like I, I just wanted to eat, and, I had some carrots and I, I didn't I didn't indulge uh, so I'm really struggling and I'm almost three years into my journey and like I said I haven't had I haven't had a, a pull to bad food um, and I could probably this is already at 13 minutes and I know I, I just wanted to share a little bit and it, it, there's more to it I just you know I'm a talker I could probably make an hour-long video I don't think y'all don't want to watch me for an hour. I don't know. Anyway, I just want to thank you all for being there and, and listening to me just tell you a little bit about me and my story and my struggles. And I'm watching a lot of videos where people are struggling, uh, whether it be the scale not moving, eating processed foods, binge eating, uh, pro you know, just family issues. And there's so much going on in our lives. And I just, I don't have the answers. I, I don't. I don't. <laughs> All I know is we got to keep trying and we can't give up on ourselves that we are worth it. You are worth it. And I know for me, I've lost, you know, um, over 160 pounds and I'm fighting the urge to um, go to eat fast food. But I'm going to keep fighting it and I'm not going to eat fast food. And uh, it is just something that I, I can't do. You know, I can make a burger. I can make a really great burger here at home, and that's what we're having this week. And I actually have some great organic beef, and I've got all the stuff, and my lettuce, and I'm going to make these delicious burgers. And I'm going to just, you know, I'm going to do that. And we're going to have a sweet potato, and that is going to be my healthy uh, alternative to a Big Mac and french fries. <laughs> and my burger is going to be better than that Big Mac. <laughs> 
So thanks again for watching. I hope you guys all have a wonderful weekend. And I'm hoping to be, maybe I'll make my ver burgers. Maybe I'll have my daughter hold the camera while I make my, grill my burgers for you guys. And uh, so anyway, have a great day. And we will talk to you guys soon. Thanks. Bye.